Happening now at 6, a recent pit bull attacks are putting neighbors on alert this Memorial Day. The latest victim, a five-year-old girl in Mooresville. Police say that she was attacked Sunday afternoon by a family pet. And earlier this month, two pit bulls attacked a woman and her cat in Gaston County. That's at that incident less than a mile from Belmont Abbey College. Tonight, these attacks are fueling a debate over whether certain breeds should be regulated in North Carolina. NBC Charlotte's Alex Shabbat has been digging into these numbers. Alex, how often are these attacks? happening in the Charlotte area. Well, we found about 1,300 reported dog bites in Mecklenburg County just last year. Now, that's not breed specific, but it's something to keep in mind as you make outdoor plans tonight. It's the dispatch call no one wants to hear happening in their neighborhood. At this time, caller is advising that the dog is on top of their small child. Police say a pit bull attacked a five-year-old girl in Mooresville. And before that call, a Gaston County woman targeted earlier this month. There is these two pit bulls that just come up and try to attack me. Neighbors say the same two dogs have caused problems for months. They're wild and they're vicious. NBC Charlotte obtained an email exchange of a concerned resident asking State Representative Rodney Moore about legislation to regulate specific dog breeds. He previously sponsored a similar bill in 2013, but tells us it failed because of backlash from animal rights groups. We did some digging online, and it appears only two North Carolina communities regulate breeds, Eddington and Lumberton. The same that the dog is attacking her. In the latest case, emergency crews say when they arrived, the pit bull continued acting aggressive and had to be subdued. And family members say that dog was a family pet and hadn't been aggressive in the past. In Charlotte, Alex Shabad, NBC Charlotte.